Hey, good morning everybody and welcome to the vlog. I hope the start of your day is absolutely amazing. We have something that's going to be pretty interesting possibly happening today. I actually had a baby snake, unfortunately, a little baby ball python that just didn't make it out of the egg, passed away. That happens and we never want to waste things if we don't have to. So we ended up freezing it and Bruce came up with a pretty good idea. He actually has a really cool collection of cobras and cobras do like to eat snakes. So I think that Jay and myself are going to pack up, hit the road, Go visit Bruce and see if maybe this cobra will eat this little baby ball python. Over here at Bruce's house, and you know that we had that poor baby ball python that didn't make it out of the egg. Didn't want to put it to waste, so we came over here, and what are we going to try to feed it to? So I actually have a really special point that I really wanted to try and do our Niger Nacocola. It's, it's, uh, it's our spitting cobras, black snake okay. spitters. So like, like honestly, they, they don't really do a whole lot, but man, are they aggressive eaters. Oh, dude, I can't wait to show you, like, like, like but it, I really have a good feeling about this. I, I'm not sure. You never know, it may, may actually happen, may, may not. But I mean, it's worth a try, because like these are these are snake eaters, right? That's like, awesome. So. Well, I have seen cobras eating snakes on video. I've never seen it in person, so let's just jump in and see what happens. And she just took it. I mean, wow, that is so cool, Bruce. That is awesome. Dude, I didn't, oh my God, I didn't even expect it. Like, I was just like, I was like, maybe she will, maybe she won't. Oh my God, <laughs> dude, that's insane. That is absolutely awesome. And obviously we're wearing eye protection because obviously it's a spitter, but uh, wow, I thought that is cool. First time I've ever been able to see a cobra eat a little ball python. Again, you know, I just didn't want that animal to go to waste. It had perished in the egg. So uh, what better way to recycle it than to have a cobra eat it? Dude, that was so absolutely ridiculous, man. Oh, that, that was, was so awesome. She crushed it too, man. That is amazing. Dude, like you would think that she would probably like like stop halfway or a quarter of the way and be like, this is too much. Oh, let me just spit this out. And they're like, no, dude, she crushed that. That was that was absolutely epic. I mean, to see it in person, uh, ridiculous. That was awesome. Thank you, Bruce. I oh, appreciate dude, it. I we're gonna feed a couple other things, right? Actually, I do, yeah. I do have some a couple other rats thought out, and we're ready, ready, ready to rock it, dude. Let's go ahead and do it. Next up, we actually have the Leucistic Monocle. Ooh! This girl's got some fire to her. Look at this girl. Whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa. Wow, what an animal. She's ready to roll. Come on, girl. Ooh, ooh. Oh, man. You could literally just hear the crunch of those fangs going into that mouse. Who doggy? I tell you what, Bruce, I wouldn't want to get that thing. Bro, I, that's I a, never. That's an aggressive bite right there. Look at her just crushing through it, too. That is a beautiful snake. And this is actually that leucistic monocle that has come to the Reptarium a couple times and just been a puppy dog, right? You get here in her environment, completely different animal. Hooding up, jumping out of the cage. Oh yeah, wow. dude. That's this, this is for sure her world. This is yeah. it. Like, uh, like she rules this place. This is the queen here. <laughs> she is awesome. Oh, she crushed Wow, that she up. goes so quick. Oh my gosh. That is legitimately the fastest I've ever seen a snake eat two mice. I mean, it couldn't have been 90 seconds she was done with two mice. That is an impressive snake. Next up, we actually have a little puff adder. Of course, Africa's finest. Ooh, I tell you what, these guys have a quick bite and they are nothing to mess around with. They are so fast. I mean, they are unbelievable. I mean, that thing went from zero to like that. I mean, oh. Like you're just never ready for it. Oh, <laughs> you're just my. never ready oh, for it. God, that's amazing. That's 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 a good snake right there. That's not, That thing is awesome.
in the dungeon, which means and this is actually a nice pinstripe female. And it's the first clutch that we pulled now that we have them on the Reptile Prime coconut bedding. So uh, it's kind of a different feel, isn't it? That's pretty cool. So the female's nested down really nicely. Looks like she's still not that happy about it, to be honest with you. And she was bred to a pretty cool male. And it's this black pewter lesser cypress. What a gorgeous animal. Let's see how many eggs she has. So like I said, mama is not happy at all. Here you go, girl. Come on, baby. Oh, you go. Oh, it's a nice clutch of eggs, though. I tell you what, I tell you, it's so much easier pulling the eggs on this bedding as opposed to them getting stuck on the paper. There's no doubt about that. I think the animals are going to be happier. Uh, definitely, just overall better look. Like I said, we're going to continue to add to that as well. So we'll go ahead and just kind of put this clutch right down in here. We've got two, four, six, eight beautiful eggs. Not bad. That's actually a really good thing. And the combination there, adding the pinstripe to that black pewter lesser cypress. Whew, that could produce some pretty cool babies. Let's see what this next clutch has to offer. It's actually just a normal bread to a banana MG pinstripe. Ooh, it looks like some sluggers in there for sure. Not sure if there's gonna be any good eggs. Oh, this does not look, oh, there's some good eggs in there. I see some good eggs, definitely some slugs, some good eggs. She's really got these things wrapped up though, that's for sure. And I have a little bit of a problem getting this girl off her eggs. Oh, give me those eggs, mama. Come on, come on. Oh, she is just really being a little monkey oh there you go that's actually a pretty nice clutch of eggs to be totally honest with you definitely some sluggers she's not happy with me i understand i sold her clutch of eggs she's being a good mom so i wouldn't imagine she would be happy with me we'll go ahead and just shut her up she actually had five bad eggs and two four five good eggs so 50 50 clutch but i'll be honest with you when i first saw that i didn't think there was going to be hardly any good eggs so the fact that we have five good eggs that's actually a huge bonus that kind of a disappointing hatch on this clutch right here these are some beautiful abbots Oka tees, but it was actually a possible het scaleless and it was bred to an Abbott's Oka tee scaleless. So these are all Abbott's Oka tees that are het for scaleless, but I was hoping she'd prove out to be a het and half of these ones should have been scaleless Abbott's Oka tees. That's how it goes. Sometimes the odds are good, sometimes they aren't. In this case, the possible head just didn't prove out to be a head. Now she's just a complete Abbott's Oka tea, and we know in the future, we can either breed her and produce more head Abbott's scaleless, or we could just produce more Abbott's with her and not actually try, now that we know that she is definitely not head for scaleless. But nevertheless, a bunch of beautiful animals, and when these get bigger, all these saddles here are gonna be bordered with these thick black borders, which are absolutely beautiful. And that's why the Abbott's Oka teas are typically sought after as the most kind of awesome of all of the Oka tea corns. This is a pretty interesting clutch right here. This is actually a quad head female bred to a blizzard corn snake. So it's it's head for like four different things. And then of course the blizzard is actually an albino type B or charcoal corn snake. And you can see some of these came out charcoal corns like this. We've got charcoals, we've got normals. And it looks like maybe we've got some black corn. Yep, definitely. This is a little black corn snake. Oh, and I've got snakes getting out all over the place now. Oh my gosh, you guys know what happens with this, right? Once they start going, I am in trouble. So it looks like we have normal corns, we have black corns, and we have charcoal corns, which are the type B or muted, and oh my gosh, I am in trouble. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and set this camera down because I am gonna be in big trouble. Snakes are all over the place here. Oh, oh my gosh, they're all over. That's it. okay, come on. Oh, it looks like we have a little blood red corn snake in here too. That's interesting. I didn't even know it was head for blood red. So there's all kinds. There's blood reds. Oh, there's a motley corn in here too. So we've got motley corns, we've got blood red corns, we've got black corns, we've got muted corns. Oh my gosh, we have all kinds of stuff, but one thing we do have is a lot of snakes all over the place. Oh my gosh. Holy cow. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my God. Oh my gosh. Come here. 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 Oh my gosh. There are so many snakes out right now. It's not even funny. There, I don't think there's a good chance of me getting these all in this box at once. Whoo. Come on. No, no, no. Get in. Okay. Make sure there's no heads in there. Okay. Looks like we're good. No heads. So, uh, whoo. All right, well, that was a beautiful clutch of eggs, but that was an absolute disaster the way they handled it. So uh, there it goes, uh, Kluber season's in full swing. We got a lot of babies. All of these eggs are gonna be hatching over the next month and a half. You guys know I always wanna show you the babies when they hatch out. We actually had that clutch that was a pastel to the pewter lesser. So uh, it looks like we've got a few pastel lessers here. Really good, actually, I think there's three, to be honest with you. Three pastel lessers right here, which is cool, because you gotta remember that pewter is actually a pastel lesser cinnamon. So these are three pastel 
sell lessers here. We ended up hatching out a couple single gene sinnies, which I absolutely love. It's, it's one of my favorite single gene animals. I don't know, I like the dark more stuff. They're really cool. And then we ended up hitting actually a pewter lesser here, which is the pastel, the sinny, and the lesser, just like the daddy right here. And then we did hit one of the super pastel sinny lessers right here. So it's kind of basically that sterling lesser basically is what's going on, or super lithium, whichever you want to call it. So all in all, a pretty cool clutch of eggs. Not quite as beautiful as the first clutch that we had that had those silvery purple ones, but nevertheless, a bunch of really cool babies. We'll get these set up, get them eating, and get them on the website soon. And we just have four eggs here. This isn't like one of those like crazy clutches. I'm not expecting anything too insane. But hey, you know what? If it's the calico, calicos are pretty cool. And that NC Extreme Gene Pin stuff is super dope too. So again, not every clutch is gonna be world's first or bangers, but there's still gonna be some cool animals. Again, any baby snake is amazing. Let's jump into egg number one. And again, with these dual father clutches, it's always kind of fun to find out who the dad actually is. And oftentimes, the first egg will tell us a lot. In this case, um, it did tell us a lot. This is a calico. So there you go, right off the rip, we know that the calico was the dad, at least to the first egg. And I've explained this in the past. The dad has to father each egg, but doesn't necessarily have to father the entire clutch. So we could have two eggs by the calico and two eggs by the extreme pin and cheat. You never know what's gonna happen. Egg number two. But it's cool that we were able to kind of immediately find out what the dad is. And the calicos are pretty polymorphic as well. There's some really good ones and then not so good ones. This happens to be just a normal ball python. Doesn't look like it's a calico. Doesn't look like an extreme. Although you never know when it hatches out, it could potentially be an extreme. We'll find out. Two more eggs. And like I've been mentioning, we're only on clutch 24 right now. We have 130 clutches still to cut this year. So we have a lot of eggs to cut. Another normal ball python, so that's a little bit disappointing. So far we just got a calico and then a couple normals. And again, you gotta remember that calico is incomplete dominant, meaning that about 50% of the babies are gonna be calico. Right now, if we had another calico, we hit our odds 50-50. So let's see what that last egg has to hold. Come on, be a beautiful calico for me. I would love that, that would make my make my day for sure. There's no doubt about that. And what do we have? And it's a beautiful calico. That's what I'm talking about, people. And you can see what happens is that as a baby, the calicos almost have pink in the side. That pink turns white as they get older. And this one's got that beautiful pink, orangey look to it. That's gonna be a really good calico too. So all in all, it worked out exactly like you expected. Two calicos, two normals, exactly what the odds are. And uh, hey, I can't complain about that. How wild was that? You know, I've seen videos of cobras eating snakes. I always wanted to see it in person and again because that snake didn't make it out of the egg we put it to good use absolutely amazing a bunch of other cool stuff we're definitely going to do a complete like room tour over at Bruce and Jessica's place sometime maybe in the next few weeks we'll see what happens if you guys enjoyed this video here's actually a video of me playing with a bunch of big animals and dangerous animals and stuff like that I think you guys might enjoy that up here could you please do me a favor and support my podcast channel subscribe to it right up here it's called checking in on this side you can subscribe to this vlog channel turn your post notifications on have a an absolutely wonderful day. Remember, be kind to someone, and I promise I'll see you tomorrow.